Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to eliminate render blocking resources on your WordPress website. That includes JavaScript files and CSS files. We're gonna do this with a plugin called W3 Total Cache. And this plugin does have a free version and a premium version. The free version allows you to get rid of render blocking resources for JavaScript files. Uh, but if you wanna get that 100 page speed inside score, uh, you're gonna have to purchase the premium version of the plugin to eliminate CSS render blocking resources. So I'll show you what that distinction is here in the video, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be working with my website here, WordPress website, Tony Teaches Tech. And I think a good place to start is to just get some benchmark numbers and understand what's going on here. So um, in Chrome DevTools here, I am going to load the page and you'll see that we're working with 17 total requests. And of those requests, we have three JavaScript files being loaded and two CSS files being loaded. Now, when we run our PageSpeed Insight Score on Google, uh, my prediction is that you'll see some render blocking resources, hopefully, or this this whole video is uh, <laughs> kind of silly. Um, so we have a decent 97 score, but we do see those uh, render blocking resources here. And uh, we have two of those CSS files being render blocking and one JavaScript file being render blocking. So let's go ahead and take care of those one at a time here. Uh, we're gonna go into our WordPress admin dashboard and go into our plugin section and actually had the W3 Total Cache plugin installed already. There's just a couple settings that we have to configure to eliminate those render blocking resources. So under the general settings, just make sure you have minification enabled. And then we can uh, do some advanced settings under the left-hand side here. Under performance, go to the minify section and we'll start with JavaScript, okay? So I think I think a good thing to do here is to pull back up our uh, other window here, go to Tony Teaches Tech and view the page source. So we have, um, if you're familiar with HTML, let's just show you, we have our head tag starting here and then that closes right here on line 100. So um, these first, uh, this first block right here pretty much is our header and part of that header is that JavaScript file. Let me see if we can find it, here it is. So we have this uh, JavaScript file C7035 being included right here. Now we just basically wanna add the defer attribute to that, that line here. So it says script source. Uh, when we add, sorry, when we go back here and we in the JavaScript section of W3 total cache, uh, because that is within the header, that, that file of concern, we just wanna add a non-blocking using defer attribute to it. So let's go ahead and try that out. We'll save those settings and purge our cache. And if we pull back up our page source and reload this page, just pay attention to this, <clears throat> this line 22 here. If we reload the page, uh, I think actually what we'll have to do is come back out of it, reload the page here and then view the page source again, and we'll search for that. Uh, yeah, so now you see that we have, instead of script source, it says script defer source. And that will, when we go to the page feed insights, we can reanalyze the page, and we'll see that it won't, we won't get that warning about the JavaScript file being um, uh, render blocking. So let's see if that's actually the case. We, we got an increase from 97 to 99, and we still have render blocking resources, but the only ones it's complaining about is CSS. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the CSS next. We'll come back into our WordPress admin dashboard, still under the minification tab, and we want to go to the CSS section. Now, again, this is, this. if you don't have the premium version of the plugin, you won't be able to interact with this section, but once you get that license, you can click this checkbox that says eliminate render blocking CSS by moving it to the HTTP body. That's what we want to do. Uh, so check that box, save settings and purge cache. We'll open up our guest window here again, and we will go back to our Chrome Dev Tools, refresh the page. And now instead of having 17 requests, we only have 15 requests of which zero are CSS files. That's because the content of those CSS files have been moved into the header. And we can actually see that uh, if we look at uh, view page source, now this looks a whole lot different. So we have our, again, our header tag starting here and it finishes all the way down here. And in between those two header tags, you have a whole heck of a lot more CSS up here that has been embedded into the header of the 
um, the web page. Now, if we go to Chrome, or not Chrome DevTools, if we go to PageSpeed Insights again, reanalyze our page, uh, fingers crossed we'll get the 100 PageSpeed Insights score because we eliminate those render blocking resources and we got a 99. Um, and I think the reason is because I specifically added this JavaScript to the page because it's not used. Okay, we're, I just added it for the demonstration purposes to show you that that's how you get rid of it. Um, but if I would take that back out, I would highly, I'm highly confident that we would get the 100 page speed insight score. Um, but putting that aside, the point of this video is to show you how to eliminate render blocking resources for JavaScript and CSS files. And, and that's what we did here. You can see that we, uh, we don't have that warning anymore. So guys, if you have any questions about this topic, let me know in the comments below. I got a whole bunch of other videos about how to get a 100 page speed insight score here. So check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.